Uh, so I'm currently heading out to a new opportunity. Um, it's something called Lifebox. And what Lifebox is, is it's a charity based um, container where a lot of tradesmen have got together and they've donated their services and their product to the cause. And what I've been employed to do is to actually go out and market the container for sale, um, which will end with an auction um, early next year. So let's head on out and um, I'll show you what it's all about. Hey guys, welcome to Lifebox Television. My name's Leon Deere. We've got Melissa, Sean, and Melissa. But apparently, I've got to call Melissa Mao. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, for the sake of it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly hold fire just to make sure that it's still going. going. I'm sure that's still recording. Right, so we've got a, um, what we're doing is we're fundraising here for uh, the Cancer Foundation. Look good, feel better. Look good, feel better. Um, we've got the directors here of the project. Um, over the next several months, we'll be interviewing the tradesmen that have been working on the project to get you an idea of what's, what we've gone through and what we're trying to achieve. Um, what I'd like to do to start off with is actually uh, introduce you to each director here and they'll have a little talk about what, what, what the project means to them. So Mal, you're up first. <laughs> Hi, uh, right, uh, so my name's Melissa. I um, came on board with the project when we went to a coffee shop, um, Redbridge, which happened to make us a very good coffee and it uh, sparked the idea that maybe we wanted to do something different with our time as well as <laughs> the design. So it was a bit of a challenge. We um, brought the idea back to Sean who was real keen right from the get go and we then had the challenge of designing a tiny space within a container and how it might work best and function and yeah, look best. And we have spent the last year putting it together. So I'll pass you over to Sean, who can talk you through the logistics. <laughs> can you see me? <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. It's too late. Yeah, look, um, so no, they, they came in with a pretty crazy idea, which is, is not overly unusual. Um, I like to think of myself as the uh, sensible one. So, you know, every idea is a good idea uh, until you have to make it work. So we, we looked at the practicality of making it work and, and how that was going to happen. Um, converting a container and getting a building consent is... is yeah, look, it's not something I'd recommend. Um, <laughs> and having said that, we've made it work. We got it through council, a lot of detailing involved, and uh, we focused heavily on best practice. Uh, best practice being the, the best way of doing things and ensuring they're going to last for the um, time period you'd expect them to. So um, we've, we've achieved most of that and it's still building as we speak. So uh, watch this space and hopefully we'll see you all at the auction and make millions. I'll pass <laughs> you over to uh, Melissa. Yeah, hi, I'm Melissa. Another Melissa, blonde here. So uh, part of our, um, our philosophy was best practice, as Sean said, and this included getting a building consent and obviously spending lots of money on doing it right. Um, I'm putting together a schedule. I'm the serious one. This isn't weird. No. And, um, and, and it's, hey guys, it's looking like this container actually costs quite a bit of money. So I think the old um, thoughts behind a cheap container, something... Um, that's already got its walls is is a little bit false and um, to do it right it costs a lot of money um, yeah so watch the space for a costing schedule just so you've got an idea of the value um, this container's got stone bench tops um, inbuilt vacuum system icon sinks it's got all the bells and whistles um, so no expense shared hopefully we're gonna have a great auction um, for the charity look good feel better and yeah, we've had fun along the way, eh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Leon. <laughs> thanks for that, Melissa. Um, so that's us for today. Um, we'll be interviewing, like I said, the tradesmen over the next couple of months, and we're aiming to have a finished product 
uh, into February 2019. So stay, stay, uh, stay, stay, stay focused, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.